What up, y'all? I know not everyone feels like listening to a 40 plus minute poll plans video for the month, so I broke it up to abbreviate my thoughts in a more easily digestible way. I know half of y'all, though, ain't subscribed, so go ahead and do that. Like the video, leave a comment with what you think about the upcoming content and your plans as well. And if you want to see the whole video, I'll be providing a link to that as well. Check that out for sure. Thanks a million, and now let's get into what you're really here for, alright? So, didn't see this banner coming. Well, I'm not going to lie and say I did, but I did work on my September poll plans in advance this time, and wow, it's paying off. Look at look at me uh, hustling. So my opinion on this banner has not changed, uh, and just if I make any, I think the only assumption I made in this banner, I think I stated that Young's getting his high armor plus this month, which clearly isn't the case because this banner came early, but my opinion of it overall in my analysis has not changed. My poll plans have not changed preemptively. Y'all know how I feel about triple BT banners. So having that context, enjoy my analysis, enjoy my thoughts. Uh, good luck on your polls. And without any further ado, here's the video. Triple BT banner, and it features Terra, Noctis, and Shantoto. I'm going to be going in order of who gets the least until who gets the most. So I'll be starting with Terra, middle is Noctis, and the last is Shantoto. Um, this banner in JP was tied to the New Year's thing, and so they were all also synergy on the weird Shinryu thing. So that was it was like 50 different characters. Well, not 50. I guess it was technically 11. The six on Yuna's banners, um, and then the three on this banner, and then it was Seador and Agrius. So all together, that is 11. Okay, not quite. Anyways, so Terra isn't getting anything here. She already has LD wards, but I think people realize that at least. Not the same as Paladin Cecil, but she's just getting high armor plus, and she's got an even split between Brave and HP. It's cool. So uh, Terra Young runners, uh, your Terra is going to get even more juice. And actually, um, Young gets his high armor plus this uh, this month too, doesn't he? Yeah, on Barrett. Wow, he does. So uh, <laughs> Terra Young gets a nice little bit of juice this time around. Good stuff. But that's all. That's all Terra gets. Not like she needed a big upgrade. This is going to be the last time Terra's BT appears until she she just recently got her level 90, and she's on a banner with uh shadows ld in level 90 and she gets uh, another ld board rework and base kit rework and bt plus on that banner nine months from now around transcendent with laguna so this is the last time to pick her up next up is noctis who is getting level 80 ld boards and high armor plus with his ld boards noctis's attack hits harder obviously uh he's got attack up brave damage up and hp damage up from his ld buff and now he gets hp damage refund after his attacks this is actually sneakily very good because noctis has the whole warp thing going on especially with his bt finisher he'll be refunding actually a lot harder after he does it so it's an indirect buff noctis was already really good and stupid with the turn shenanigans so this is a great upgrade for him helps a lot his high armor plus split leans in the brave cap direction and this is good for him because he's got a million brave hits on everything his calls really aren't that impressive but his ld call specifically is very niche in that it is an 80 percent eye brave up which is very situationally useful i would use it uh, honestly i wouldn't really use it but the only time i really used it was i don't know why i mentioned this in uh co-op with yuna to boost her finisher because her uh, battery on her brave plus was based on eye brave so i'd use noctis's call because it also gives them hp damage refund as well so i boost her eye brave and hp damage refund so she'd be full for the finisher and the co-op and then i'd make it but other, other than that really i don't know why i spent 30 seconds on this this is the last time noctis is showing up for a while and i don't really have anything to say because he's still the same noctis he plays the exact same he's just better at what he does with the ld boards his next known rerun is during noel cycle uh right around he's synergy on ludes event and he will be on the banner where he gets 90 and prompto gets 90 and noctis gets bt plus and a skill rework the biggest update on this banner would have to be Shantoto. Toto skill one now goes twice provided her frame debuff is up. Not the one from the EX, but the one she inflicts with all her skills. This is four HP attacks in total. The normal double tap of arrow and then it does it again, the same animation. Just make sure the debuff is up or else it won't feel too good. And now her skill two has 80% splash. There you go. Her LD board gives her attack, overflow, and HP damage up by 20%. The LD also now hits harder and it recovers the use of skill one. This makes her BT phase better as well because you can use LD after using skill 1 to recover skill 1 back and so you don't have to press HP plus anymore, that's nice. And it overall just helps her longevity by helping her skill skills, skill spam, spam skills a bit more. As for her calls, this is very important. While Shantoto's base debuff has 100% defense down on her LD, her call debuff got nerfed and it's only 50%, but it is still a pocket paralyze. However, if you use both of her calls, she'll get the, her normal framed, which is 20% defense down I believe, and 50% on the other one, so that's a 70% defense 
defense down in two calls, which is decent. It's just not up for very long, unfortunately. Overall, Toto hasn't really changed. She just got better at what she does. Like most of the banner, honestly, uh, her damage is now a lot more up to par and she has access to calls and can be used as a call. Call debuff getting nerfed is unfortunate, but it is what it is. At least it's a paralyzing defense down. Sap orbs, stun orbs, she can do a bunch of those and now with her call she can help accomplish those as well so she's got an all right upgrade overall I personally she was my clutch bt in transcendence 4 just because i didn't have any option other options in jp and i did it was a range orb and uh the bosses needed like crit hits and other nonsense and they stopped brave gains at some point so i ran cypher 9 and shantoto there with my beat that with toto as the bt synergy to, to get through it and then i was able to take advantage of her omni imperil during the ifrit summon when i kind of rushed them down and it worked out pretty well so she got decent stuff i'm not crazy crazy about Toto and then she gets a rerun again with her BT plus she doesn't get she has she does not have 90 yet excuse me uh, but she gets it alongside Machina and she's on the same banner as Waka when he gets LD no excuse me Waka gets an LD rerun when Toto gets her BT plus she gets another LD board rework and another base kit rework I don't know what specifically this will be tied to I don't even know if it's going to happen like this to be honest but I'm assuming it is uh, the banner that is but overall i'm not too crazy about anyone on this banner personally i i can never noctis has just never worked in my team he's never worked in my playstyle he's too big brain uh, terra is too spammy for me and toto i don't just think she's amazing overall and i'm not a big fan of her burst plus either in tuning pass down the road there's a hope for her in level 90 but overall uh I, i'm planning on going for this banner solely to get terra's bt and the usual um Oh, I have a lot of, or I want to get more BT tokens to secure things I can in the future. So I'm going to go to BT Petty because I do have, uh, excuse me, Noctis's burst already. And I have Chentoto's burst already. So I would always love to pick up dupes, but once I get Terra, I'm stopping because I have literally everything else on this banner. Per usual, I, I expect people who have a lot of gems like I do, I think it's a good move to go out here to uh, hedge yourself against potential BT tokens in the future. I think it's a good gamble, but um, otherwise... Um, not, I'm not quite feeling anything else on this banner. I'm sure a lot of you have realized after the initial Noctis level 70 hype when he first came out that he wasn't quite your character and that zero turn runs are not as feasible or as useful as the YouTube runs make it look, so take that into consideration as well. Overall, again, all these characters are, are pretty solid. Um, I just personally, if I wasn't going for any BTs in, in general, if I didn't have this stuff and if I didn't have a lot of gems, I wouldn't be touching this banner, but it's, I'm going for it solely because of uh, BT collection purposes and hedging with BT dupes. And that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed the clip and found it informative. I do try my best generally. If you haven't already done so, please like the video, comment what you think and your plans, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more great content. The full video is linked, so check that out as well. Continue showing love. Good luck, everybody. Peace.